Hello from Ackill Island in County Mayo. Absolutely stunning location. Sensory overload, images at every turn. Problem is, absolutely blowing a gale, which is a real pity because the light is stunning. So, I've been spending a lot of the day trying to hand hold a 7200mm lens, boosting the ISO, making sure my shutter speed's fast enough in the attempt to avoid camera shake and hopefully what are some pretty good images if I may say so myself. So what a difference 24 hours makes. I was down here yesterday, wind was howling, sea was pounding, and taking pictures was almost impossible. Too much sea spray, too much camera shape of the wind. So back tonight, completely different day, sky's a bit flat, but we're gonna see what I can do with it. Two hours before last light. Not a bad place to spend the rest of the evening. Okay, so I'm going to drop anchor here. The location looks quite interesting. Nice formations in the rocks, nice shapes, nice moving the waves. Could hopefully get me, could hopefully make for an interesting image. Let's see what happens. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me above the roar of the sea here. But what I'm trying to make use here is this V shaped foreground and use that as a lead in and drag the eye out into the scene where the waves are crashing on the rocks. It's pretty spectacular. And finger crossed, it makes for an interesting image. So I've had great fun playing with different shutter speeds from four and five seconds and now up to about a half a second trying to capture the waves as they explode in the rocks. Great fun. So even though the light even though the light is pretty flat this evening, pretty confident the images I got there will turn out for the, the best. When conditions like this, when conditions are flat like this, strong shapes, lines can help make something out of nothing. Um, Back there, I had the grad on and the lead little stopper just to create a bit more movement in the waves. And as those waves broke, they created a nice piece of contrast against the dark, dark rocks, enhancing the shapes that you can see in the images. Gonna carry up, gonna carry along. Oops, gonna walk bit more further on up the shoreline. See if I can see anything else before calling it a night. Good morning. Conditions are looking really spectacular this morning. We got Croke Patrick over the distance, waves rolling in, beautiful reflections on the sand. I'm quite happy with what I've gotten so far. I'll take you through the camera setup now. Okay, so about the setup, what I'm really trying to do is here is make use of the highlights in the sand here in the foreground. Let them lead the eye 
through the frame back towards the distant hills. So the sun is just coming up now. Absolutely beautiful reflections in the sand. I'm having so much fun playing with the shapes. Pretty confident I got one or two good images here. Hopefully you can hear me above the roar of the ocean. Stunning morning, absolutely stunning. So I had great fun this morning using the reflections in the pre-dawn sky to create some interesting compositions. Those reflections combined with the slow shutter speeds made for some interesting shapes and intermingling of water with the reflections. So I'm pretty confident I got one or two good images this morning. It's a good start to the day. A few more interesting locations to check out later on. Hopefully the light stays as good as it has been this morning. But right now, I think it's time for breakfast. <laughs>